Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Fruitech. This is my Poco S2 running on the custom ROM of the OS Android 14 version. But I installed the new Lineage OS based custom GSI build project Sakura on this device using the DSU sideloader. And boom, I am running with the two different custom OS on the same device. This custom GSI will work with any device which has the ARM64 AB partition scheme. But I can't guarantee for all devices it will work or not. Today in this video, I will show you how you can install this custom JSA on almost any device. We will check out how we will get the latest source on the top of old custom ROM or the stock ROM. We also shown how the project Sakura offering the quality of lineage OS along with the amazing customizations. So watch this video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. Here you can check my device is running on the Apollo OS Android 14 bit. It has the old source base of February 2024. Security patch is also old of February 2024. So let's try the latest build of the new custom JSI project Sakura. You can try this custom JSI with the root or non-root method. But here I am using the magic root method to flash this ROM. Just open the DSU side loader application, locate the JSI file in the application. Set your required user data partition size. Here I am using the 5 GB of storage. Now tap install. You don't need to extract the exit file. You can flash them directly in the DUC application. If you are using any password or the pin protection on the device, then you will get the unlock prompt accepted and the flashing of the new JSS starts here. Once done, in the status bar, you will get the notification to restart. The device just tap on the restart and that's it your device will start to reboot and for me it successfully started to boot into the new project sakura boot animation if your device didn't boot to the new custom jsa then just force reboot the device using the power button your device will directly boot to your original stock rom so my device booted with the new wallpaper and the project sakura launcher now let's check out the about device details to compare it with my stock couple os the new project Sakura is also based on the same Android 14 with the same Android 14 upside down cake strike. Project Sakura version is the 9.1 and as this is the same base of the lineage OS, you will get the lineage OS sister egg here. Security patch of this build is of FITMA 2024. Here is a big difference between the, my old stock ROM and this one. My old stock ROM has the security patch of February 2024. The builder of this ROM is also new its of latest May 2024, while my stock ROM is from the February 2024. But the kernel version is same for the both those because custom JSI only boots with the stock primary ROM kernel. So we dual booted the new source based ROM on the top of the old ROM from the February 2024. That is the beauty of DSU sideloader. Surprisingly most of the things are working in this custom JSI I felt it is completely stable. The only stock camera I did not like it here, it is pretty basic, which has almost all the features working, but the front selfie camera pictures are not working, camera getting forced close while taking the selfie pictures. But we can use the Gcam MGC build, its links are given under the video description. Now we will take the look of new customization on the top of the lineage OS added by the developers. All the settings has this animated logo on the top of the setting panel which are represent in the functions of the setting. Next we we'll get fully customizable project Sakura configuration tab. If you check the about project tab in the setting, you can check it showing this is the project Sakura version of lineage OS. It's powered by the lineage OS but more customizable than the lineage OS. Who gets almost all the customization here like the status bar setting, buttons customization where my favorite is the show volume panel on the left. All the feature settings are available here and they are working fine for the Poco X2. But the new and the most advanced customizations are available for the QS panel like we can able to add the Android 11 style look for the QS panel. Here you get the bunch of the custom presets and they are available for the QS panel. Instead of this we also get the custom header images. Here you get the bunch of the presets 
we can also choose or add our own images as the header image here hide label for the qs panel gives a different look to the qs panel setting except these other lock screen notification and the miscellaneous customizations are also available to tune your device look old school ph stable settings are also available here but i will not go in the deeper of these but as per the name of the setting you will get the idea about the features especially likes the audio effect is more useful here under display setting you get the some more refresher setting like 120 90 60 50 50 or 30 hertz so we can set it accordingly as per our users for specific goal double tap to wake and sleep is also working perfectly though this is a custom jsa but it has working ot updater in the system setting who can actually upgrade your os using this this is all about the new custom js project sakura and it's almost working for all the devices which has arm 64 ab partition scheme but you have to give your personal try on your device using the suicide loader application by using root or the non root method if it boots on your device then please mention your device name in the comment section If you want to boot your primary stock OS then you can force reboot your device using the power button or by tapping the restart button in the status bar notification your device will boots back to the stock OS here my device booted back to the stock Apple OS so that's it for today guys hope you like my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching since time take care bye bye